We already have understood what exactly is a bar graph in the previous session and how to draw a bar graph. In this session, we would see how to interpret a bar graph, how to analyze or extract the information from the bar graph. Here you can see a bar graph where an x-axis actually represents the years, say from one, uh, 1998 to 2002. Uh, 2002. In the y-axis, we have something as wheat in 1000 tons. And here the scale is given as one unit length is equal to 5000 tons. So this one unit is actually representing 5000 tons. So now let's look about what is the question. The bar graph given alongside shows the amount of wheat purchased by government during the year 1998 to 2002. Read the bar graph and write down your observation in which year was the wheat production maximum. Just by seeing the length of the bar, it would be easy for us to say that the wheat production was maximum in the year 2002. So here the answer is 2002. In which here the wheat production was minimum. So from here we can quite easily say that the wheat production was minimum in the year 1998. Let's look about some more information other than this question. The wheat production was maximum in the year 2002. So what exactly was wheat production? If you see here this bar length or the length is coinciding with the number 30. So here it is 30 but what 30? 30 in 1000 tons. So we can say that the wheat production was 30,000 or 30k tons. What was the wheat production in the year 1998 when it was minimum? Here you can see that it is coinciding with the number 50 where one scale length or one unit length is 5000 tons. So it is 15 k tons. So this is how we can interpret information or we can analyze or extract the information out of a bar graph. Let's look about one more example on this. The previous graph what you had seen was a vertical bar graph. And the, this one is a horizontal bar graph. Let's see what exactly is this. Here, one unit length scale is equal to five shirts. The x-axis is representing the number of shirts shol, sold. The y-axis is actually representing on each day. That means here it is trying to give us an information that on each day, how many number of shirts were sold. So let's look about the question. Observe this bar graph which is showing the sales of shirts in a ready-made shop from Monday to Saturday. We are trying to answer the following questions. What information does the bar graph give? So the information that bar graph give is how many number of shirts were sold on each day in a week. So that's the information given by this bar graph. What is the scale chosen on the horizontal line representing number of shirts? So here you can see that the scale chosen is one unit length is 5 shirts. Here you can see that this is one unit length and the number is now 5 here. That means that this unit actually covers 0 to 5, 5, five shirts. On which day were the maximum numbers of shirts sold? You can see here on Saturday, the maximum number of sh sh shirts were sold. How many shirts were sold on that day? If you see here, this Saturday or this length of the bar is coinciding with, with the number 60 on x-axis. So you can say that on Saturday, 60 number of shirts were sold. On which day were the minimum number of shirts sold? Here we can clearly see the length of the bar which is minimum is on Tuesday. So on Tuesday the minimum number of shirts were sold. And how many number of shirts were sold on Tuesday? So we can say that it was 10. Now the next question is very specific to a day. 
how many shirts were sold on Thursday? Thursday, the length of the bar is coinciding with 35. So here you can say that on Thursday, 35 numbers of shirts were sold. See, we already learned that the length is at length of the bar is actually trying to represent the number and the width remains constant. Here you can see the width is remaining constant for each bar. It's constant. It's not changing. It's uniform for all the days. The only changing parameter is this length which is varying with respect to what is the data we are trying to analyze. So this way we can analyze and interpret the bar graph.